15 Things You Didn't Know About Heineken Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about one of the most popular and successful beer brands in the world, Heineken. On February 15, 1864, the mother of 22-year-old Gerard Heineken bought him the Haystack Brewery in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. The Haystack brand had been sold since 1592, but the Dutch beer market was struggling when the brewery was purchased by the Heinekens. The first Heineken brand beer was brewed in 1873, after a special yeast was developed for the brand. By 1875, they become the biggest beer exporter in France. After World War I, the company focused primarily on exports. Just three days after Prohibition ended in the United States, the first shipment of Heineken beer was delivered to the country, and it's been a favorite brand ever since. Heineken has grown to become a truly global brand and is currently the second largest brewer in the world, behind Anheuser-Busch. In 2014, Heineken celebrated their 150th anniversary, and it doesn't look like this multi-billion dollar company is going anywhere anytime soon. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We are inspired by Heineken's longevity, incredible success, creative spirit, and commitment to quality. So, let's take a closer look at this dominant beer brand with these 15 things you didn't know about Heineken. Number 1. Heineken Beer Only Has 3 Ingredients Heineken beer is made with only three simple ingredients – water, malted barley, and hops. 95% of just about any beer is water, so Heineken ensures that they use only the cleanest, highest quality water. The flavor of the beer largely comes from the malted barley, which is made by soaking the barley grain in water and allowing it to germinate. Additional flavor comes from the hops, which is also used to extend the shelf life of the beer. Number 2. They Sold Over 42 Billion Pints of Beer in 2016 one hectoliter is equal to 100 liters. In 2016, Heineken sold a combined total of just over 200 million hectoliters of all their beer labels combined. This equals 20 billion liters, or well over 42 billion pints of beer sold in just one year. Number 3. It's been family run for over 150 years. Gerard Heineken was the first family member to run the business in 1864, but over the 150 plus years of the business's existence, a total of four generations of Heinekens have been actively involved in running and expanding the company and the brand. The latest generation of Heinekens say they are just as passionate about the product today as their ancestors were when they first began brewing the beer. Number 4. They are the most international company in the world. With a sales presence in 190 countries, Heineken can boast of being the most international beer company in the world. They also have over 165 breweries in 70 countries where they produce their beers. Number 5. The Star Logo Was Changed During the Cold War Nobody at the Heineken company knows for sure where the Red Star logo came from. It was the original icon of the brand, and some believe it was a symbol of European brewers in the Middle Ages who believed it had mystical powers to protect their brew. But during the Cold War, the Red Star logo was changed to avoid association with communism. The full Red Star was replaced with a white star and a red outline. After the Cold War ended in 1991, the Red Star was restored as the logo. Number 6. You can visit the original Heineken Brewery in Amsterdam Although it's no longer in operation as a brewery, you can still visit the site of the original Heineken Brewery that was built in 1867 in Amsterdam. The brewery was in use until 1988, when a larger, more modern factory was built on the outskirts of Amsterdam. Now it serves as an interactive museum and corporate visitor center where visitors can engage in the Heineken experience, where they learn about the history of the company and the brewing process, while also sampling beer and exploring unique exhibits, like one that shows you what it's like to be a beer bottle. After you've seen and done everything, you can relax and enjoy a Heineken beer at the in-house bar. Number 7. The three E's on the label were designed to appear as if they're smiling. 
Alfred Henry Heineken, the grandson of the original Heineken founder, is the person who designed the beer label that is still in use by the brand today. In 1964, he decided to change the font of the label to make it appear as if three E's in the brand name are smiling at the potential customer. He thought this would be a subtle way to make the beer more appealing to women who tended to do the grocery shopping at that time. Number 8. Heineken has sponsored James Bond films since 1988 Ever since the production of the 1988 Bond film Tomorrow Never Dies, Heineken has been a partner of the James Bond film franchise. For each film they're involved with, Heineken produces Bond-themed advertising campaigns, as well as 007-branded bottles and other collectibles, many of which show up on eBay. Although the brand is prominently featured in Tomorrow Never Dies, The World Is Not Enough, Die Another Day, Casino Royale, and Quantum of Solace, Bond himself doesn't drink a Heineken until Skyfall. There is also a special room at the museum at the original Amsterdam Brewery that is dedicated to James Bond, and occasionally even props from the films are put on display. Number 9. Heineken has a fleet of electric delivery trucks Heineken is very conscious about their environmental impact, and they are actively trying to minimize their negative impact in every area possible. One goal the company has is for their beer to be delivered only in electric vehicles. They are currently testing this on a small scale in the Amsterdam area. The brewery in Amsterdam rolled out its first electric truck in 2013, which was a 19-ton converted Volvo. In 2014, they added a 12-ton electric truck built from scratch on a Mercedes-Benz chassis. They have since added two more electric delivery trucks in Rotterdam and seven in Amsterdam. Number 10. It's the 78th most valuable brand in the world. With $23 billion in sales in 2016, Heineken ranked number 78 on Forbes' most valuable brands list. Heineken increased their sales slightly, from $22.78 billion in 2015, but they are still short of their 2013 and 14 numbers when they had revenues of over $25 billion each year. Their ranking on this list puts them right ahead of T-Mobile and right behind Lego. Their competitor, Budweiser, ranks 22nd on the list, and if you want to find out some more about this really successful beer brand, click in the upper right hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Budweiser. Number 11. There are over 170 brands owned by Heineken. Heineken produces 250 international, regional, local, and specialty beers and ciders. Their portfolio includes 170 distinctive brands. Their best sellers are Heineken and Amstel, but some other brands they sell include Tiger Beer, Red Stripe, Zagorka, Cruz Campo, Dos Equis, Strongbow Apple Cider, Orchard Thieves Cider, and Newcastle Brown Ale. Number 12. Heineken is the seventh best-selling beer brand. As of 2016, Heineken holds just 1.5% of the global beer market share, but the best-selling beer in the world holds just 5.4%. Heineken is the seventh best-selling beer brand in the world, and the top-selling beer is Snow, which is sold almost exclusively in China. Heineken does have the distinction of being the number one brewer in Europe. And just as an interesting fact, the global beer market is expected to pass $688 billion by 2020. Number 13. Heineken is the most liked beer on Facebook With 23 million likes, the official Heineken Facebook page is the most liked among all beer brands on Facebook. By comparison, Budweiser only has 14 million likes, Guinness has 6.4 million likes, and Coors Light has just 3 million. Number 14. Heineken built the world's largest pinball machine In 2014, Heineken Italia wowed everybody at Milan's Design Week with a living room that doubled as a giant pinball machine. The marketing scheme was called the Sub Living Room because it was supposed to promote Heineken's new advanced technology method of dispensing beer, which is essentially a very fancy keg called the Sub. The pinball machine looked like a modern living room, but when a lever was pulled, the whole room lit up in the Heineken green color, and the pinball machine was activated. At 53 feet long, 24 feet wide, and 35 feet high, Guinness World Records declared it the largest pinball machine in the world. Number 15. Heineken hosted the world's first zero-gravity music festival 
Heineken's tequila-flavored beer, Desperados, created the first-ever zero-gravity music festival on a plane 30,000 feet above the Las Vegas desert. The Barong family DJ group was in charge of the beats, and every time the plane dropped to create zero gravity, the beat dropped as well, for an experience like none other. Now that you've learned some more about Heineken, we'd like to know, which beer brands are your favorite? Does Heineken make the list? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. In an effort to decrease their carbon footprint and encourage their patrons to recycle, Heineken is testing the Fobo bottle in France. Fobo is short for forwardable bottle, and it enables the customer to add their personal story to the bottle using a unique code before it's forwarded on to the next person, after it's been cleaned, filled, and sold again, of course. Heineken envisions that every bottle will carry its own unique history, and consumers will be able to read about each one of the people who enjoyed a Heineken from their same bottle. This will decrease the bottle's carbon footprint by 70%. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers! Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.